So as you can see, what I've done is I've given it a bit of a, a bit of a contour, two-stage contour, so it's leveled off there and then just gently swooped out on the outer edge. Don't know if you can really see that. That might be better there. So obviously swooped it out and then down for that bit. So I'll we'll give it a bit of a sand up. Then we'll get some colour on it. And then we can get the bottom. Here we go, bottom. Um, Hello to Doug Miller. Hi Doug, hope you're well. So I'm going to be sanding this from 120 grit uh, through to 400. The reason being is we can't put Yorkshire grit on it because we're going to be colouring it. Nick the Flame and Turn is in. Hi Nick, how you doing sir? Apparently yellow box wood is very hard. Oh really? I thought the camera had frozen then. <laughs> So it absorbs, it fills all the little crevices of the grain. And as you can see there, it's starting to bring out the grain. This is obviously going to look different to that because that was a, the, the chalice was a, a piece of ash, which is quite a loose grained wood anyway. And this is a piece of sycamore. So they're not going to look exactly the same. I didn't have a piece of ash big enough to do this. So that's why I'm using the piece of sycamore. But if we get plenty on it, Look what I've just done. Doug said he's feeling better. Thanks look for I've, asking. Look what, what I've done? just done. Just gone, through the, just gone through the middle. Uh oh. There's a 14 hour difference between where Doug is and Australia. Really? And Hodgepodge said it's not your day. It's not my day. Everything's going wrong today. They're all saying funnel club, funnel club. <laughs> club entry accepted. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was then, it's going to happen sooner or later, wasn't it? <laughs> Darren said, ooh, design opportunity. Oh, bottom. <laughs> Clean this middle up, make it a bit bigger. We'll make an even bigger funnel. Just making sure we don't catch the jaws.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with my original plan. And I'm going to colour that. And then I'm going to turn a little bit to go in like a button. But texture the end of the button. So it, And then obviously blacken it. Silver embellishing wax. So it looks like a part, like a raised centre of the of, of the bowl or platter or whatever you want to call it. And then obviously once that's all dried and glued in... I'll put it in the cold jaws and then I'll flip it and turn the bottom off and just refinish inside the mortise um, so you don't really see it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of texture in on this edge here. Nothing major. Um, um, just... Ben said you could cover it with one of those makers mark coin things. <laughs> yeah, you could do. So I just want to look in a bit like this, really. Either one of those I'll be happy with. So like I say, nothing major. So lave on about 500 RPM. And I'm just going to run that through like that. So it's just brought those lines in like that. Now to finish that off, I'm going to put a little tiny band line either side of that. So I'm going to go... Douglas said you could make a button to fill the hole. Yeah, that was that was my sort of thinking. So I'm going to put a little tiny line one side of it. All right, Mike's had to go. All right, see you later, Mike. Thanks for coming over. And then a little line the other side of it. So that is our texturing. That's all I'm going to do to it. Nothing, I don't want nothing more than that. So we're just going to de nib that a little tiny bit. Darren said you could get out the wrong side of the bed. Was it the wall side, lol? Yeah, out the window it was. <laughs> so we've got that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the silver embellishing wax and fill all this in and give the whole piece of coat to uh, hopefully give us this finish like we've got on the piece we did Thursday. So I'm going to rub this into the wood to fill that bits I've just cut out. If we've got enough embellishment wax, that is. So you need to really work that into the grooves because if you don't, that'll that won't look right. And what that does is that will just enhance that texture and bit around the outside. And that hopefully that's going to match the other bit we did the other day. that that goes in there like that a little bit of movement in there but once we get a bit of glue in there so what I'll do is I will just mix a little bit of epoxy up and glue that in there so I just want a bit of wood so I'm going to push that into there like so Sure it's wiggled about to get a bit on there. And I'm going to bring tail stock. I'm going to hold it in place. He's 
cabrón. No. Se me pasó una. Just put a little bit of pressure on it, not too much obviously because it's really thin. Just to hold that in place to dry. So I'm going to leave that for an hour or so. I know it's five minute epoxy. But I like to leave it a little bit longer, just in case. 